Yes, I know you want to go outside, but you can't, and I'm talking to a camera right now, so you can't bother me. So I apologize for any future noises throughout the rest of this video. My brother is out back, which is literally right here on the other side of this window over here. Um, he is mowing the lawn right now out back and my dogs want outside really bad of course so they're barking so any future noises in the background i do apologize for hey there creepy peeps it is movie review time again i just recently saw what we do in the shadows and i thought i would review it for you guys and share my thoughts on the film with you uh this movie is technically a horror comedy so it's not actually scary but it has to do with um, vampires and kind of horror type things. I read somewhere that the directors Jemaine Clement and Taika Waititi, hopefully that's how he says his name because I'm not sure, they were able to release this film in the US because of a Kickstarter campaign. So I find that a lot of horror movies like like movies in general but a lot of horror movies are being able to be released because of stuff like Kickstarter and like fan campaign campaigns and stuff so I always find that interesting. Our directors who I just mentioned Jermaine and Taika are also stars in what we do in the shadows. Jermaine Clement plays Vladislav the vampire and Taika Waititi plays Viago. And this film is kind of like, <laughs> the lawnmower is like so close, I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, so what we do in the shadows is kind of like a mockumentary style movie. Basically the premise of the film is this documentary crew is ki gonna kind of document the lives of these four vampires, Vladislav, Viago, Deacon and Peter and they're kind of just documenting their lives and like the vampires they live in this little apartment in New Zealand. A lot of the comedy in this film comes from the fact that you're watching these hundred year old hundreds of year old vampires just like <laughs> bickering over chores and deciding on what outfits to wear <laughs> to go out at night and it's just I don't know it's just like a lot of the humor is really subtle and it I don't know I really love that kind of humor so I found this movie very funny and obviously there is a plot to it but there's no it's not like a big dramatic movie it's kind of just following these vampires really and how they live in like modern times like how they how they get ready uh to go out at night which is like them kind of like drawing these crude pictures of each other and what they look like because you know vampires they can't see their reflection so they can't look in the mirror and like i said arguing over chores like who does the dishes and you just see like this pile of bloody dishes in the sink <laughs> it's really funny and um all all four vampires kind of they kind of like take on stereotypes a little bit. Viago is kind of like the prissy kind of mom vampire, I guess. He's very uppity, a little uh, a little bit of a pretty boy vampire, I guess. Um, he's the one <clears throat> he's the one who kind of nags the other vampires to get their chores done and uh, is complaining to one of them to like lay down a towel. Uh, <clears throat> to lay down a towel before he drinks his victim's blood because it gets all over the place <laughs> and <laughs> he is I thought he was one of the funniest characters in the movie um Vladislav is kind of like he's basically they basically make him Vlad the Impaler like they kind of hint they hint at the fact that he was like Dracula or who we know to be Dracula of um Vlad Tepesh. Then we have Peter who isn't in the movie a whole lot which I imagine is because he's the oldest vampire and he looks a little bit like um, Nosferatu, like Nosferatu vampire. 
So he definitely had the most makeup and <clears throat> most makeup and effects done to his face and his mouth and his teeth. So I imagine he's not in the movie a whole lot because of the extent of his makeup, I'm sure. It's like, it's silly to see him interacting in the modern world because he is the least modern of all the vampires. And finally we have Deacon who is the youngest of the vampires in the, the house. I think he's still like a hundred and something, but he's the youngest one. He's like the party boy, a little stupid, a little ditzy, I, I guess, if you will. Um, but just, just them all interacting together was, it's just so funny to see on screen. And again, like I said, seeing vampires kind of argue and bicker over things like dishes and chores is just, <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> it's really subtly funny. They do end up accidentally turning a human into a vampire, Nick, and he becomes kind of like, he's like the interpretation of what like any of us would probably do if we became a vampire. Like he tells everybody that he's a vampire. Like I remember a scene where he's leaving a message and he's like, hey, this is Nick the vampire. Like <laughs> he tells everybody that he's a vampire and he's like, there's another scene he's telling people, you know the movie Twilight, you know the main guy in that? I'm that guy, I'm Twilight. Like <laughs> it's really, really funny. Um, and Nick's best friend, Stu, kind of gets accepted into the household of vampires because he shows the outdated vampires Google and uh, pictures and stuff like that and digital cameras. And <laughs> they kind of really take a liking to him because <laughs> he shows them how to like video chat and it's, it's really funny. There's also werewolves kind of in the movie and you see like this rivalry. Again, just a lot of really subtle comedy, a lot of dry humor, and I found it very entertaining. I'm most definitely going to pick up a physical copy of it for myself when it comes out, which I don't know when that is. I'm sure I'll put it down below for anybody who is interested. Okay, stop trying to get on my lap. <laughs> This is gonna be the most difficult video I have to film because I have the lawnmower right there. I have the puppy right down here. Yes, I see you. I see you, but you can't go outside because there's a lawnmower out there. Starting from this review on, I'm going to try and keep the videos a little short. I tend to get very rambly, um, even though that's the reason why I made this YouTube channel so I could, seriously, don't hit the camera. Um, the reason I made this YouTube channel was to discuss horror films and stuff like that. Um, I realize just how long I can talk about them and it seems very long in video format. Like when I upload like the raw footage, just like me talking start to finish and it's like 37 minutes and I'm like, oh my God, I have to try and edit this down to like something manageable. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep these a little brief but since I can't resist from talking about horror movies I am going to write a longer <laughs> longer discussion on my website you can go to nightmaremaven.com and check that out anytime you see the video uploaded here there will be a link down below in the description box to to my website so you can read a longer review if you would like to. So that way, those of you out there that don't wanna sit and watch me talk for 25 minutes about a horror movie, <laughs> don't have to. You can just hear my thoughts on it quickly. And for those of you that want to read a longer review, you are more than welcome to at, again, nightmaremaven.com. So kind of to wrap it up, I really, really recommend you go see this movie. The only place I was able to see it was an old historic movie theater in downtown. For those of you, I know there are some of you out there that live in my general area and know where the Tampa theater is. I had to go out there to see it because they are not showing it at like AMC or at least the AMC that's closest to me. I can't find it there. I had to go to all the way down to Tampa theater in downtown to go watch it. So if you can, if you are able to go see what we do in the shadows, please go do it. If not, uh, definitely, 
when it does become more widely available on DVD or for renting or on Netflix or something, please check this movie out. I thought it was hilarious and definitely worth a watch. Let me know what you thought of what we do in the shadows if you have seen it down in the comments. And until next time, stay strange. Bye.